Welcome back to the channel and today I'm at Fifield Down in Wiltshire. Now everyone's heard about Stonehenge and most people have heard about Avebury and the sarsen stones used to build them. But does everyone know where the sarsen stones came from? That's what we're going to find out today. Fifield Down is actually an ancient sarsen stone quarry left over from the last ice age 12,000 years ago. These sarsen stones were moved from here to build the likes of Avebury a couple of miles to the west of here but more impressively Stonehenge, about 17 miles due south of here. I'm a couple of kilometres into the walk now and I'm just approaching the Sarsen Stone Quarry. I must admit, I was only expecting, you know, a few stones, maybe a dozen, but have a look at this. There are hundreds of them. It's literally Sarsen Stones everywhere. So this is the builder's merchant for Stonehenge and Avebury. Back then there have been a lot more sarsen stones and a lot bigger ones too. Understandably they've already taken the biggest I guess, leaving these behind. So 12,000 years ago the ice dumped all of these sarsen stones here. See if we can fill it. How did they move them? Not just move them, but move them best part of 20 miles south in that direction. Out of this valley for starters. Amazing. So I've been walking about, I don't know, about half a kilometre so far through this sarsen stone minefield and uh, it just goes on forever. I kept on thinking it's going to come to an end but it just goes on as far as the eye can see. Unbelievable. Okay, I've stepped out of the valley now, just up onto a hill overlooking. And that's just down there is where I started. I came in, I came through here. But it continues on and on and on. I think we know why they call it Valley of the Stones. So just over that brow of the hill over here and about 15 miles further south is Stonehenge. So they would have had to take the stones from here, first of all out of the valley up the hill, over that hill and 15 miles further south. How did they do that? So for Avebury, 
Uh, Avery is due west of here, so there. That's due west, um, over the brow of this hill. So it would have been a heck of a lot easier carting these stones, probably up the valley and to Avery, which is only about a mile away. Right, I'm on the bike going through the valley of the stones. Uh, it's quite hard doing it with one hand. There we are. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of these big sarsen stones. Absolutely amazing. So we've got to the top of the valley now, um, just looking down into the valley of stones below. Uh, we've walked probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile, let's say a kilometre from Devil's Den, uh, which is to the east of here. West is Avebury, about two miles that way, and due south is Stonehenge. All of these sarsen stones, they were the taken 17 miles to Stonehenge or two miles to Avebury. But what's fascinating as well is that this area that I'm sat in now is actually a, uh, a Neolithic stroke Bronze Age ancient settlement. Uh, so as far as the eye can see from, certainly from above, you can see or you can just about make out um, these rectangular ancient field systems. Um, now, uh, these field systems were, were created around, I don't know, five and a half to six thousand years ago, which would be late Neolithic, early Bronze Age. Uh, and over the decades, or centuries, um, the soil has mounded up onto the boundaries of these rectangular field systems, um, making it even more prominent than uh, what it was, covering up the original walls, um, or mounds that were used to um, identify these boundaries. These are actually called lynchets. Um, and even on Google Earth, they're very, very prominent. Um, the higher you go, the more they stand out. Um, but people actually lived here uh, thousands of years ago, about 6,000 years ago. And I, I guess these are the people which um, moved all of these stones, which is just breathtaking to think, to, to think about. So we're going to have a look up now and see if we can actually make out any of them from the drone. Uh, obviously here in the UK we can only go up uh, 120 metres or 400 feet, so it could be that it's not high enough to make out, but we, we can try. <laughs> 